hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is annie david if it's your first time on the channel you're most definitely welcome please take a moment and subscribe to the channel so you'll be a member of this wonderful family and to my returning subscribers i really want to appreciate you guys for always supporting i appreciate you guys for always coming back to watch my videos even when it is not convenient for you guys you still find out time to watch my videos thank you guys so please i would really appreciate if you watch the video to the end and when you find the video helpful i will appreciate if you give us a thumbs up all right you like the video and also comment ask me any questions and i'll be here to answer i am always on the comment section to answer whatever questions you'll be asking all right guys so let's get right into the video guys all right guys so i went to the market and i got some makeup items and i want to give them a trial i got this it's a blush palette and i was told you can use it for lipstick and you can also use it for um on the cheek which is the blush and whatever yeah and i also got this powder from v beauty so we're going to be giving it a trial and i got um i got me um the micellar water we got this also we got the vitamin c also and then i got this the site is the sweat blog okay i have been seeing a lot of review about the sweat blog so i decided to get this to give it a try also to see if it really does the work they say it does and i already have uh, an eyeshadow primer already i just decided to get this one to give it a try this is the one i have been using over here and i decided to give this a trial yeah decided to give this a try let's see how it works and then one more thing i got i got new brushes eyeshadow brushes most of my brushes when i go to work outside i end up losing my brushes especially the eyeshadow brushes so i decided to get this one so i am going to test how easy they are to apply i want to see if they apply very easy because the ones i got they easily do the work for me all right guys so let's start all right guys so before i start my makeup i'll start by prepping my face and i'll be going in with this angel wipe and then i'll be using my micellar water i will not be using from the new one i got because i already have this but most of the products i'll be using will be from the new ones i got so i will just use this to apply on my face <laughs> so guys you guys will have to pardon the noise in the background because i am just close to the road so if y'all see me using or looking down i am using my mirror so i am done cleaning my face so the next thing i am going to do is to um i think use my sweat block because i think before you add whatever moisturizer you want to add on your face you have to apply the um the sweat block first so i'll go ahead and use this first before any other thing i don't know how to apply it okay i think i'm going to get a cutting wool so i can use it to apply so i'll be using this cutting wool to do what i am going to be doing and then you just apply it just as if you're cleansing your face you just put a little drop and then you you apply it all over your face you know you're not wiping your face you're just applying the product there's a way this is feeling it's like sticky and even from the cutting wool if you notice see, I have some holding onto my hands so it's sticky i think it's going to hold our makeup for the whole of the day all right guys i had to let the sweat block um dry up on my face first before i go ahead to prep so for my prepping today i'll be using this vitamin c primer to prep my face I 
mind you by the time you apply it on your face i don't understand what is going on here i don't know if it is because of the sweat block but there is this thing i am seeing on my face that i don't understand i am no understanding at all i am no understanding okay let me see So guys, we are back to square one. I had to wipe out everything and I want to start all over again. So starting all over again, I'll go ahead and use the sweat block again. Let us see what is happening or what, what caused the, the situation earlier. Let's see. So I'll go ahead and apply it again. So guys, please let me know in the comment section how you use your sweat block. Do you use it before priming your face or do you use your sweat block after priming your face so that I will understand this sweat block thing no? because I really don't understand. So I'll go ahead and try another primer because it is obvious that this one is not working together. So I think I'll go ahead and use the vitamin C primer this time around to see if it works well. Okay, I think the sweat block works better with the vitamin C, but I am still not understanding the thing. But it is obvious they work better. So obviously, I think the sweat block works better with the vitamin C, this other one. Now, it's of two types. So we have the vitamin C serum and we also have the vitamin C primer. So I think for the sweat block, the vitamin C serum works better. I think they work better compared to this one. And right now, it is very, very hot in here. Let's see how this um, sweat block does it work. So guys, I have said a lot about this foundation and I'll be using this to, I'll be using this on my face for foundation. And mind you, whenever you're applying a foundation on your face, you should make sure you get a tune that fits your um, complexion. So this matches, even holding it this way, you can tell that it is the shade that matches my skin tone so this is what i'm going to be using for foundation Now you can see what I am talking about, guys. It is very, very super blendable. All right, guys. So I really love this beauty blender because it really applies product well. Unlike other blender, they soak in product, but this doesn't soak in product. And trust me, it doesn't have a label. I just got it from the market, and it comes in this container. So I decided to use it to give it a try. All right. So I was thinking because of the sweat block, I was thinking it's going to separate the foundation, but no, it's actually giving guys it is giving so the next thing i am going to do i am going to highlight the areas i want to be highlighted all right guys so for my highlighter i went ahead and i used this highlighter from vianki makeup cosmetic palettes it's a new one i got i think i have the old one and so i decided to get this one and that's what I am using. And so for my blush, I'll be going into this palette, CDP palette, and 
I will be using I don't know the shade I'll be using. Most of the shades are looking very, very fine. So I don't know. I think I'll be using this um pinky shade. This very shade right here. Let's see. I'll apply it right over the area where I want my blush to be. I'll go ahead and use my blending brush to blend it in first and let's see mm. Mm -mm. So it's really not giving what I expected and I'll go ahead and add more. I'll go ahead and use more product. I think you have to use more product for it to come out very well. So let's go ahead and try it one more time. guys what do you think about this blush is it really doing the work for me i think it's not really doing so i'll go ahead and apply this one also and let's see All right, guys, so I think it's going to make a difference when you add more product. So the next thing you're going to do, I'm going to be using this side to blend in my highlighter. all right guys so for contour i am going back into the same palette and i'll be using this very shade or yes i'll be using this very shade for my contour all right guys so to set my face i'm going to go into this um palette i talked about earlier it's the view beauty powder palette so i'll go into it and this is what it looks like from the inside so like i said if you to set your face you're supposed to use a shade that is a little bit lighter than your shade to set the highlighted area of your face so i'll go ahead and just do that right away i'll be using this shade called bianca to set my face all right guys so for my reverse contour i'm going to go ahead and use this dark shade from the same v beauty palette
all right guys so we're done with the whole of the face so we'll go ahead and do our brows and then we'll do our eyeshadow before we come back and set the whole of the face i'm done sketching my brows so to highlight it i'm going to go ahead and use my highlighter from the same palette and the same highlighter i used to highlight my face my under eye is the same highlighter color i'll be using for my brows also that is the lower part and then for the upper part i'll be using the highlighter that looks exactly like my skin tone also so i am done with my brows i want to go ahead and do my eyeshadow so for my eyeshadow i'll go i'll be going into the juvia's place masquerade mini palette to do my eye for the transitioning i'm going to be using this shade for the transitioning so guys i am done with the whole of my face i will not be applying um eyeliner i'll just use my mascara and then i'll go ahead and do the finished touch with my setting powder and i'll come back and show you guys the finished look all right guys so for my highlighter i am going to be trying the highlighter palette oh my jesus i noticed they have good highlighter did you see that Alright guys, so this is the finished look and this is what my face looks like. I wanted everything to look like my skin. I wanted everything to look natural. That is why I made this way. 